Okay, so today we're checking out this 1948 Ford Super Deluxe. Uh, it has the factory correct Ford Flathead V8, original transmission as well. Uh, just a gorgeous car here. Uh, it's an older restoration, but it's still a very lovely uh, collector car. I wouldn't say it's a museum piece, but it's certainly uh, ready to be appreciated. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with things like just a general look over around the outside of the car. Uh, the paint is very nice condition. Uh, I would say it's probably a 7 out of 10 for quality. Uh, there aren't any major dings or dents or problems with the paint. Uh, certainly some overspray and uh, maybe a little bit of orange peel, things like that here and there, but overall a lovely machine. Uh, all of the chrome trim pieces appear to be original. Uh, of course there's some little dings and stuff here and there, uh, which is to be expected. As you see it's got the original bumpers here. Uh, with the extra little wings at the center. Those are, I believe, specific to the Super Deluxe. All of the panels are very right and tight. This is a very true straight vehicle. It handles very smoothly. All of the trim pieces are on there very nicely. All of the glass is very bright. No major hazing, cracking, no trouble there. The windshield is still very clear. Uh, little accessories like the smoker's windows, uh, definitely nice to have those. They still work nicely with good hinges and hardware. All of the chrome is very bright and polished. Uh, all of the, the bodywork really shines on this, this car. Uh, we get down into the wheels, the nice hubcaps there, all four matching, including the spare, actually, with a lovely white wall tire on there. Those are quite recent. Of course, uh, regular maintenance like battery, is new this year, oil changes have been kept up with. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, climb on the inside of the vehicle here, and we're greeted with some lovely original uh, controls, original radio and gauges, all of that looks very lovely. And of course, we've got the uh, little ashtrays and stuff up here, which are really neat. I mean, back when people, you know, smoked in every car. Um, uh, we believe it to be original mileage. We've got uh, just under 28,000 indicated there. Uh, but here we have all of the gauges. Things like your fuel, your oil, uh, battery charge, and then temperature sensors. All of that's very nice, original here. And then all of the um, ventilation controls. Uh, choke knob is here and then starter and lights over that way. We've got a hood release, and of course the uh, high beam on the floor. Oftentimes uh, cars from this era, you see that. Um, this model has the turn signals uh, here off to the left side. Uh, they're not auto canceling, but uh, certain cars from this era didn't have them. And then uh, we'll take a look here in the glove compartment or the registration drawer, or whatever you want to call it. And we've got a couple of receipts and things from a battery earlier this year. Registration slip. I think this is some kind of a wiring diagram there. And here we have owner's manual for the Adjustomatic radio. That's kind of neat. It appears to be original booklet there. And a couple of additional things like uh, fuel pump. We'll get into that in a little bit. There's an additional fuel pump added. Uh, it's an electric rather than the original mechanical just to maintain fuel pressure there. Um, things like the, uh, the headliner is just beautiful. Um, fantastic condition there. Uh, again, it's an older restoration, but it's, it's in lovely condition. Uh, the upholstery, again, uh, being restored at some point is very nice condition. Uh, that nice uh, vintage sort of burlap or sack look. I'm not certain that it's replicating the originals at all, but it certainly looks uh, looks like it's correct to this era. Okay, here's something very uh, fascinating to me uh, from a modern perspective. I'm sure some of you are familiar, but when you roll down the rear windows, they go down about halfway. 
and then you go back up and then you feel a little bit of resistance and all of a sudden the window changes direction. I mean, that's again one of those things back when people smoked in cars uh, that would be very nice to have. So both of those in the rear work just fine and it's really neat to see something, you know, bi-directional but mechanical at the same time. Step into the back here. We'll see the, uh, the springs are a little bit tired back here. So the proper length little piece of wood there is included with no extra charge. So we're greeted with the electric fuel pump there. We'll just let it go for a minute to prime things. We've got brake in, clutch in. We'll pull the choke just a little bit, though I don't know that we need it. We'll hit the starter there. Make sure we're in neutral. And we'll stick the choke back in. All right, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Yeah, let me walk you through that uh, new fuel pump setup we were describing before. Uh, down in here we have the aftermarket electric fuel system, or aftermarket electric fuel pump, which primes into the mechanical fuel pump, which is factory and then up to the carburetor set up there. Again, one of the few things that's missing from the car over here is there's a shroud that goes into the uh, ventilation fan there, uh, which provides heating for the interior compartment. Uh, that entire shroud system is, is simply not present, but I'm certain something can be found. Okay, as we said, it's a 1948 Super Deluxe, just a fantastic car here. Uh, the lovely uh, flathead V8, it sounds amazing. Uh, we went ahead and looked around it inside and out. Just a lovely classic machine here. Uh, it's certainly ready for a collection, any kind of uh, classic show car, whatever you'd like to do with it. Uh, it's certainly ready to go. You could drive it home today if you'd like. Um, depends where you are, I guess. In any case, I'm Miles. You're extraordinary. We'll see you next time. All I yeah. do is yeah. adore you all of the time. I like to. I like to. I like to love you every day. I like to love you.